Hello everyone and welcome back to our third episode of FTV Skies Expert Mode. Today guys we're going to try and get to an iron ingot but if we can't what we're going to mainly focus on is getting through as much as Ars Nouveau as we can but I think we should be able to get to an iron ingot. However the first thing I want to do is I want to fix our base because right now it is looking like it's about to be a disaster as we keep adding machines in and trying to expand out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend an hour or two clearing out everything and building a base where I can start to set up everything from scratch and hopefully have separate areas for each process. So I'm going to go through the quest book, does it designate areas and I'll be back in about an hour or two and we'll see what the progress looks like. Alrighty. And we are back. Just a little insight. The last clip I recorded was five and a half hours ago. I have been busy. <laughs> very, 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 very busy. So, let me show you what I've been working on. <laughs> just, j you know, just a little bit of a base. I really like the big factory giant design look where it's very boxy. I've always loved big factory design, so... That's what I'm going with. It's very similar to what I was running on all the mods 9 recently. So that's what I'm going with again. We have a bunch of Starbuncles around by the way because we have a passive mob farm like area laid out. So I moved all of my stuff down. I moved all my stuff down from above. Basically my old island was here at 0, zero and it was just above here. The angel block was there. I went down with cork in a water and I just started building over here. I set up all four dripstones, I made some more fluid hoppers, and I, well we're at 12 buckets of lava now, these are all lava sources. I should have set this up a long time ago, <laughs> I just set it before, like near the end, I had it all broken down and I only set it up at the end, so otherwise this lava tank should have been full. We have 3000 cobblestone left over, and plus some chiseled over there. This has been going and going and going because, well, we used a lot of cobblestone for this build and a lot and a lot, a lot of cobblestone hammered down and sifted and hammered down and hammered down and oh my goodness, it was it was a lot of work. So we got a bunch of concrete. It's far from finished. We need so much more concrete for this build, but the recipe for concrete is quite a pain, right? So white concrete, right? You have to bulk wash it and you need the powder. So it's four sand, four gravel. So hammering. The white dye, you need bone. And then black concrete, well, sorry, gray concrete, right? Wait, sorry, there we go. And then the gray concrete, same thing, but you need gray dye. Gray dye is black and white. So luckily, the way you get a black dye is with a mill. So if I take some spare coal I have, and I chuck it in the mill. Oh, this is off. Okay, here, I'll show you this. So I have a little maintenance hatch. I have both a water wheel for my sifters above here. And then I have four water wheels for my mega stuff up here. So we have a haunter. We have a campfire for smoking. We have a lava thing for cooking and a water one for washing. This water guy here. He will wash sand into clay, so it's very useful. But yeah, so I set up a mill here. And when you mill coal, specifically, you can get a chance of black dye. Oh, sorry, you get black dye with a chance of gray dye. So I was combining black dye with white, uh, white dye from bone meal. And I was getting a chance of gray dye, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go with gray dye. Over here, we just have a bunch of encased chain drives, which are very, very expensive. I sh really should have made this a lot easier. These are three iron plates per, and I have like 15 of them in this setup. I spent way too long on that. These sifters here, I gotta repair them, which I'm out of appetite, so that's actually quite a pain. I used up all my appetite. <laughs> I believe I might have some over there. Anyways, I've got the basin running at 128. I have the mechanical presser running at one, uh, sorry, at 256. And then I have the millstone running at 128. And then each one of these fans are running at 64. So I just want to go ahead and turn that off because we don't need it on. But yeah, so this is all I've done. <laughs> I've just moved it all down. Over here, we're either going to do a peat farm for power or I'm going to set up a 
spawner room. Either or. Either I do spawner there or I do peat farm. I'm probably going to do the peat farm just so I have power nearby. And then over here we'll probably do a mob farm eventually. I just haven't got... I just ran out of like concrete and willpower to make any more concrete. And over here we have our passive... Oh, we got a horse. That's new. Over here we have our passive mob farm. That's a decent speed on that horse. And then we got some chickens. And then, as you saw, a bunch of starbuncles. And then over here we have a plant farm. So we have flax, beetroots, um, flax beetroot, what else? Tomato and cabbage, and then some sugar cane. So yeah, we have a bunch of stuff set up. And then over here we just have our mixing cauldron and our squeezer, which we haven't used since we got down. We're almost out of planks. <laughs> So I got to actually set up an area to farm trees as well. I didn't do that. First thing we want to do now that we've rebuilt our base is we want to work towards getting our first iron ingot. Now, first thing we have to do is make our super cooler. So I used up all the iron, which we had, unfortunately, to make all of our casings and everything. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get a bunch more, unfortunately, so I'll show you the process of how we do this. We just grab a bunch of cobblestone, very simple, take our builder's wand, fill it up. We went through like 19 builder's wands and like 150 freaking hammers. Alright, that should be enough gravel, for now at least. We're going to go ahead and get our hand crank out, because like I said, we're all out of resources at the moment which is unfortunate i did kind of use up the last straw <laughs> of everything all at once which wasn't my brightest idea i'm going to be honest do we seriously not have any dirt either Ooh, this isn't looking great i'm gonna be honest uh, but we do have diorite actually so we should be fine so we're gonna go over here actually i just said i needed it and i completely forgot i'm going to need my hand crank we're going to go ahead and sieve all of this manually, unfortunately. All right, and the next thing we want to go ahead and do is make this super cooler here. So we have all the resources already made. Just two lapis blocks, some engineering blocks, machine frame, glass, and nether quartz. And then this guy will come over to our peat farm. We should have some peat left. Yes, we do. We can go ahead and grab a bunch of that. And we'll go over to the peat farm over here. Well, the peat uh, machine. I should really stop jumping over that because I'm eventually going to fall over the other side and it's going to be really bad embarrassing. But these should start generating power once. There we go. Okay, yeah, they're getting FE. Perfect. All right, so the next thing we have to do before we continue on the main quest line is we have to get into some more occultism. Now, they've added a bunch of custom multi blocks into this pack, and one of them is this guy right here the soul engulfing setup which is all these blocks up here so we got to go ahead and make some soul steel which will be iron plates thrown into this guy here so once we have this set up it is just some iron stone and such so we're going to go ahead and gather all those resources and soul glass is glass thrown into uh other stone and soul powder blocks with soul sand as usual so we have all of these things i believe we have one soul powder block and i is that the only soul powder block we have yeah it is okay so we're gonna go ahead and make some glowstone and this was thrown into a soul fire correct so we're gonna grab some soul sand we're gonna grab some black stone we're going to grab some andesite as well if we do have any yes we do and then our flint and steel should be somewhere around here somewhere all right there we go all right so we're gonna actually use this area just over here this should be plenty enough space actually no you know what i said we we're gonna use this for a peat farm we're gonna use this for the soul engulfing i think it's like it's already built and i really don't want to have to go build another area at the moment it's a bit of laziness i know oh that went into the void that's not ideal oh that was way too close also i forgot to set my home i know i like i've slept in the bed but I've not set my home, so I'm going to do that first, and then we can go ahead and do this, that, throw some andesite. Was that not right? Oh, whoops. 
there's supposed to be andesite and sulfire. See, this is what happens when you build for too long. You get confused at what you're supposed to be doing. I need a demon dream fruit. I should have a few left over. I don't see why I wouldn't. Yeah, there we go. All right. So yeah, it is andesite in a sulfire, not andesite in a thing. So yeah, there we go. We got some other stone. And then blackstone was... Okay, blackstone is... All right, so the first thing we want to go here and do is set up our tier one altar, which will be soul powder blocks. Oh, compressed? Wait a minute. Is that right? I don't think that was right. No, it's just regular soul powder blocks. Okay, so yeah, the first setup we want to do is just place soul powder blocks like so, light that on fire, and then I believe it was the soul slate, correct? Oh no, it's other stone on the bottom that I checked. So other stone like that, soul glass like that, and now we have our tier 2 ritual. So that's complete. And now with our tier 2 ritual, what we can do is we can make ourselves our soul stealing it. So we need 18 of them. And I have 18 plates. Chuck that in. And it should make a soul stealing it eventually here. I think I see one in there. Right? Yeah, okay, I did. Perfect. So I want to go ahead and make 15 more. There we go. So we'll let those sit. Let them craft. And we have to make four more. Oh, wait, no, we need way more than 18. Wow. Wait, we need 36. All right, we have to go make ourselves some more plates. All right, and we have our last block here. And go ahead and do one, two, over. Then soul steel, soul slate, soul glass. There we go. So that is the ritual done, I believe. Unless I did this... Oh, no, you know what? I'm glad I checked. This needs to be put down one. I wonder if I can break this. That's breakable. Okay, good. That's breakable. That's... Okay, it does return. Thank goodness. All right. So I just realized I put this down one layer into the ground. So I also need to bring these guys one layer down. Otherwise, I will just burn all my items, realistically. And that will just reset me back. A decent amount. Also, to complete the quest, I need to have all the items in my inventory at once. So, kill two birds with one stone. Do it like this. It's two blocks. Soul steel. Slate. Glass. Gonna order like that. Two blocks over. Steel. Glass. Slate. Two blocks over. Steel. Slate. Glass. There we go. So now the ritual is complete. That is, that's how it wants it to be done. Oh, we got ourselves a nice little axe here. That's cool. Make a soul steel pickaxe? I sure will. So we want to get our blaze burner over here. So what do we have to do for that? We need to make a soul cage. And that's just a soul lantern. Okay, that should be easy enough. Can we make a soul torch? I think it should just be a piece of coal. We don't have coal on us. Okay, we should be able to get a piece of coal from over here. And we should be able to make ourselves our soul lantern. Go ahead like that. Oh, we need a stick. There we go. Soul torch, soul lantern, and then throw it in there. All right, and we got our soul cage. Awesome. Now we need to make an empty blaze burner, which is more iron plates. Okay, once again, I am running way too low on iron plates. <laughs> we might need to get ourselves some more gravel. Yeah, we will. Okay, well, I'm just going to go farm some more gravel, and then we'll be right back. So the next thing we have to do is go ahead and make ourselves all the tiers of soul crystals. And each one of them requires the next one to be thrown in. So luckily, we're already at the max tier size so we just got to make sure we pick it up in time i think it converted yes it did and then we can throw that one in and that one will just sit there so i'm not entirely sure how these work but i believe you just collect mobs with them and then you can use them on the mob spawner the soul cage here so that'll be cool and there we go kill one mob to bind yep there we go and then here we go so we just got to make a soul cage and we have the iron to do it so grab that blaze burner all right, so the next thing that actually wants us to do is make a ritual. And this ritual requires some pedestals, which is a bunch of soul slate. And then this soul pedestal here, which is a blood recipe that requires, it should just be a regular heat source, but we'll just see later. So it requires more soul steel blocks, soul steel, a uh, soul crystal, which we just made, a soul catalyst, which is just smelting soul powder. Shouldn't be too bad. So we need 18, 20 soul steel, one soul crystal we just made in the crystal pedestal which is eight more so we need 23 total uh 23 total soul steel we should have that here yeah we do awesome and i'm just going to turn these machines off before i do forget so we don't waste too much durability 
And if I, yeah, 95. Okay, so they don't waste durability when they're not on, like when the machines are running, so that's good. I wasn't quite sure. Why does it look like... Oh, it's just the way they were stacked. Okay, that was weird. Here, we'll do 32, because I do want to make some tools later, as the quest suggested. 32, there we go. Alright, let's go get ourselves just some food. Oh, and I did die earlier. I fell out of the world, <laughs> and I did slash home real quick. So I should actually just clear that. Is it M? There we go. Clear death points. <laughs> I was falling out of the world. I was like, okay, I gotta slash home really fast. And, well, you just splat as soon as you slash home. So it is what it is, but, you know, some sometimes you die. Sometimes you just die. And we need to go ahead and make some soul clocks as well. So we're gonna just chuck two glowstone in there. That's the wrong thing. I need to chuck glowstone in this guy here. There we go. Awesome. And how much... Oh my goodness. It takes so long to do. I'm not sure. Like... I don't know. I feel like the other one's so much faster. I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, it's not perfect. We're gonna bring a furnace over here, because there's no point of having to run back and forth each time. So we got a bunch of blackstone from haunting cobblestone over in our haunter, and we'll just chuck all that in. Should be fine. Like, we don't really need the blackstone, right? Plenty of soul slate that cook up, and we should be good. I don't think we need anything else, right? We just need the pedestal, and the soul crystal which we just got and we just need some blood in our altar there we go so we'll go ahead and make a pedestal real quick i believe we need two of them right oh no we actually need a lot of them correct yeah we need eight of them how long will that make us yeah that won't that won't even be near enough all right so we're just going to need more blackstone and while we're at it may as well just put some more on the haunter because we clearly need a lot so these are really cool since it's just here i'll show so it's the fan going into a campfire campfire lava water and then an iron bar and then a piece of glass the glass prevents you from getting the effects of the haunt which will be blindness this i believe will burn you burn you and then this will just push you away and they will also push you as they give you the effect so just a piece of glass there and then the iron bar the iron bar is not necessary i just like it for aesthetic purposes and yeah so if i turn this on you'll see it doesn't do it instantly but it is decently fast and we can just sit here and watch this will turn into other stone while we wait we should be able to pick up all of our soul slate make some more of these that's nine all we need and then if we come over here that should be done in about five seconds let's see five four three two one oh close all right and then we can just go ahead and turn this guy off just so we don't waste the durability on our water wheels but for now that should be enough like we don't we shouldn't need any more so i'm just gonna stick those in there grab these guys out and we'll go over to our crucible over here and see what we can craft what do we need oh we need the crystal pedestal that's right so we need to make ourselves one of these guys just the one and then we can go ahead and make our soul pedestal and why doesn't it want to place the last block what's the last block though empty soul crystal there we go that's the recipe we'll stick our blood sigil in there and give it a thousand buckets of blood i can't imagine why that wouldn't craft there we go good stuff it says it's supposed to convert the fluid leftover fluid is mixed oh okay so if you do two thousand buckets of lava oh, sorry if you put in two thousand buckets of blood same with the stone recipe leftover fluid so it'll be turned into lava anyways so we got our soul pedestal or sorry yeah our soul pedestal and we have our thing so i believe it is simply this yeah we're just gonna use this area here and if i click on uses it doesn't show there however if i go into mastering of cult it doesn't actually show me the thing interesting nevertheless we want to go ahead and summon a blaze so let's look up a blaze spawn egg i assume that's how you do it yeah it is okay so we need some we need four enriched feet coal a soul crystal a chicken oh we need a chicken interesting okay so how do we grab a chicken i wonder i i hmm so i assume you're supposed to do it with chicken palooza luckily i've gone ahead and made myself a chicken farm can i collect these no i can't i wonder how will i go about making a s because are these yeah soul gems are in here right empty kill one mob to bind hmm can i make a lead maybe and drag the chicken over is that how you're supposed to do it soul pedestal can be used to summon a number of entities to set up the summoning area and to place the soul pedestal in the area around with a made right once you prepare the ingredients use a soul crystal shard or higher that has been bound to a chicken soul oh okay so use a soul crystal shard or higher soul crystal shard or higher okay so i can just use this guy awesome do i just i really don't know how the heck i'm supposed to do this maybe offhand and then kill him 
contains chicken. Okay, so that does work. So just throw it in your offhand, kill the chicken, and then you get it. Now, I don't know why the Blaze quest does not want to open up. Like, I should just be able to observe the Minecraft Blaze, but it doesn't want to see Enrich Peat. Oh, right, I need to make Enrich Peat. This makes sense. So Enrich Peat will be three peat in biomass. Yeah, I knew I had to do something. Where is our peat? I know I didn't throw it all into the cooker, right? Yeah, I didn't. Okay, so three like that. Biomass, I can chuck that, that out. That's fine. That's good. And then we need our bucket. Go. Oh, here's a bucket. And then we can go ahead and make some biomass and some enriched peat. So we'll just do that and we will get our peat ready. Wonder how long this will take. Boom. Oh, that's not bad at all. Perfect. Now we should be able to go down here and master the occult and observe the blaze. So blaze spawn egg was four peat. Oh, we need four. And we only made three. Surely the quest gives you some, right? Surely. Nice, it does. Awesome. That is perfect. So yes. Blaze Bon Egg. Four peat, two coal, soul powder, and a crude soul crystal. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, you do soul crystal, soul powder. Oh, that stacks. Okay. We only need the one. Soul powder like that. We have our empty blaze spawner here, so we can grab the blaze. What was the recipe? I already forgot. Enrich peat and then coal. Okay, one, two, three, and four, then two pieces of coal. Surely we have two coal. There we go. And then we just shift right click, seemingly, I assume. Where is the chicken? There we go. And now what? Do we wait? <laughs> to see the recipes, try to next summer blaze, right? Once you prepare the ingredients, use the soul crystal shard that has been bound to a soul on the center soul, and then right click with empty hand. Okay, there we go blaze and blaze burner awesome so now we can make our crystallized amber which requires liquid magma wait no sorry magma block redstone fire charge and honey honey is made wait we actually have to do bees interesting i wonder how we they want us to do bees to make crystallized amber because we can't do gold ingots without having gold shards and gold shards need primitive slurry which needs oh no gravel and a blaze burner okay oh so that's how you do it okay so we need to do liquid magma redstone that fire charge and then i'll make this all right so i'm just going to go ahead and gather everything i'll need to make the gold ingot and we'll be right back all right so we're just going to make ourselves some primitive slurry here and then what we have to do with the primitive slurry is throw some redstone inside of it. And then we should... I said I was going to gather everything, but I completely forgot to grab the redstone out of the chest. And that is in which chest? Oh, surely we have more than that. Okay. Yeah. So we can go ahead and grab the redstone. Make ourselves some gold shards. Does that not work? Am I misreading this? Oh, it's in the super cooler. I'm, you know, a little confused, it seems. Oh, I don't want to actually do that. Oh, I'm going to have to grab three more peat to make some more enriched peat. Otherwise, I will lose all the power, and I'd rather not. <laughs> so I'll grab three enriched peat, and it's fine because we've got to use it for power anyways. So let's go ahead and do that. This should use all that up. Awesome. Now we have plenty of power to be made. And what we'll do is we'll chuck that guy in there, grab a bucket. One, I'm gonna say it should automatic. That's annoying. Like it should only make primitive slurry, but it doesn't want to, even though it's superheated. This is, yeah, this is annoying. All right. All right. So we have 10 buckets of primitive slurry here, which will make us two ingots of gold, right? No, no, no. It'll make us one gold shard, which will make us one ingot of gold and we need a compactor on top of this so we will need to switch this around which isn't too bad actually since i have made this pretty pretty standard actually so all i have to do is do a bit of that and then this guy can just go right on there like so awesome and then we'll just chuck these guys in there and i'll make gold look at that it's very simple actually i really like that recipe it's like it's really unique i feel like this should the dependency for this guy is really should be gold because you do need gold to make this what is the use for this by the way outside of making an ender orb some so you made an experience obelisk forget for this blue transporter archwood saplings 
experience obelisk. Interesting. Okay, so you definitely need the experience obelisk to make that. But what else do you need it for? Oh, you need these guys to make enchanting apparatus, right? Is that what that was? Yeah, you need to make the enchanting apparatus and some other things, it seems. Okay, that's fair. And then you need it for this, which is a crystal hoe. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fair. I, I just assumed it would be random. Like, not random, but block of slag. What can, oh, that's a cool looking block. I actually don't mind that. Anyways, don't get distracted. More gold. And what I want to use this guy for is to make a fire charge, which I need bl blaze powder for. Dang it. So I need to actually summon another blaze. And did I put all of my peat in there? I did. Oh, nards. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just clean up our inventory just a little bit because it's getting to be a mess again somehow. I don't know how it always ends up to be a mess, but it always does. It should be fine like that. And I was thinking I had to make another blaze. Luckily, this quest gives you blaze powder. So we don't actually have to go ahead and do that. We just need some gunpowder, which we should have plenty of. And we can go ahead and make a fire charge, we'll make three of them, gold, and then we need some redstone ingots. And our redstone was left over here. So that's annoying. And then what did we need? We needed liquid magma, right? What did we need this for? Wait, I already, I'm so, so lost. Super cooling. We need liquid magma to make crystallized amber. And to make this, we need to make a slow melter with surely something. Magma blocks is lava with gravel. Okay, so we need lava and gravel inside the super cooler to make magma blocks. Oh, thank goodness we made a bunch of lava because otherwise this would be quite annoying. So if you are playing, make sure you do have plenty and plenty of lava early on because you will need it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some gravel. So I was going to grab gravel and then I didn't grab any. Where did my... There we go. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Something like that. Break it all. Go over here. And you gravel like that. There we go. Awesome. Now that should make us magma blocks, which we can use in our... Wait. Oh wait, no, 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 sorry. I need to make liquid magma, so I need to put that in my slow melter, which I'll need to get this biomass out to do. I'll make, here we go, this, that goes in my vein. This should make 500. Oh no, this makes 1,000. That goes in there. Gold, and then fire charge, and then redstone block to make the next step. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> that is a convoluted mess, I will be honest. <laughs> But it's worth in the end. You get your crystallized amber. That quest is done. And then we can go ahead and make ourselves an experience obelisk, which is just a fluid tank. Some obsidian. How do we get obsidian? Definitely not with an entropy. Oh, okay. Just a magma block in front of a another thing. So gravel. Let's go get ourselves some more lava, apparently. Actually, no. You know what? I'll just do the one bucket. Should be fine. But yeah, I can't recommend enough getting yourself a bunch of of lava ahead of time because otherwise you will be lacking behind all right we got ourselves a mega block throw that in front of there go down here turn this on i probably should really throw this on and off switch up above because having to go down the ladder each time is it's i wouldn't say it's a nuisance but it's definitely not the most ideal way to go ahead and do that however got our first block of obsidian turn that guy off and what did i need this for to make the experience obelisk so iron plates blue tank just some copper plates oh i shouldn't have turned it off because I need this guy up here and I need my gearbox back. Chuck that on there for now. So gearbox, this guy, then go back down here <laughs> once again, like this guy on. I don't think we're going to get to the iron ingot today, unfortunately, but we should get pretty close. It's only the two I need. Yeah, it is. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and turn this guy back off, go back up, get ourselves some food because we're already so slow. But yeah, we just need to get over here. And then hopefully we can start Ars Nouveau next episode, get ourselves an experience obelisk, and then we can start Ars Nouveau and get our iron again next episode. So yeah, I really thought, I really hoped to be able to get it this episode. I really thought I was going to be able to, but it doesn't seem like it was in the cards for today, unfortunately. I, I probably could have if I just planned better. However, I didn't plan great today and I've been building for so many hours. There we go. We'll throw over our XP in there and then we'll get one of the archwood saplings, which is cognitum dyes. Okay, so yeah, we need a dye, we need cognitum, which we got from. Oh, where did that go? Oh, 
Did we keep it? Oh, don't tell me we're going to have to do that all again. All right, so we should have kept our cognitive, which we didn't. So next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to make our first archwood sapling. Then we can proceed to make our impugment chamber, source gems, and then get ourselves to our iron ingot, which will be pretty close, I'd say. Because all you need is some iron ore maybe maybe that's how you do it no i'm not i'm not entirely sure but we'll figure it out oh you make catalyst for production that's it so you make these guys oh that's insane oh wait oh that's such a cool way to make ores okay so we just make catalysts and then turn them into ores with primitive slurry i really like that okay so that's what we're going to work on next episode we're going to get ourselves our first catalyst and then we will get ourselves our first iron ingot and we will be able to actually get to into botania and elemental craft as well. And then we'll hopefully get ourselves these regenerators so we don't have to run on water anymore. However, that was a lot of stuff today. Let's just see how many quests we can claim. Look at all that. So plenty of plenty, plenty of stuff. And you guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, just leave a like, maybe leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought, if there was any tips or tricks that you think I should be using or if there's something you learned today share that down below and if you don't want to miss the next episode make sure to also subscribe see you guys next time bye bye